a blog through shell script. So I, was fi I finally looked into doing um, my blog on my website by using Luke's LB script or lightweight blog or Luke's blog, whatever. Um, this thing is awesome. I was normally having to change and create or move around like three, four, five files or different things in different places to have my blog system on my website the way I wanted it to be, which means it was a lot of work to just write a freaking blog post. This script is awesome. It puts everything where it should be for you, updates your XML document for those people subscribed to you with Newsboat or an RSS reader. Uh, it creates standalone pages. It takes care of everything. Now, <clears throat> my website has a little more uh, differences than from Luke's because I have some other tags I use, HTML tags and other um, changes in like formatting and structure. So I had to actually change the script, which means I need to understand what the hell I'm doing. Um, I don't understand what the hell I'm doing. That's the problem. So he's got a lot of stuff that works with, um, there's some functions in here. And then a lot of said, which is stream editing, um, which is this is this is this script is one that makes me really want to actually try and learn shell better. Is because if everything in Linux is a file, and everything we do with programming and code is text, then that means that using stream editors and you know grep and cat and whatever all these little shell programs on text and modify text files and change and move and update and replace and re regex and all this stuff is possible on all kinds of different program files. And that's that's one selling point for me is that all this stuff makes my blog work because my blog is just text in HTML HTML code but it's, it's all text, it's text characters, which means that we can edit it with a shell script like this and automate a lot of this cr crazy process, which is exactly what he did. And that's really freaking cool. So he's got like a lot of variables set up in here. You just change what you want to be, um, what's relative to you. Uh, so I added all my stuff. And then I think the only things I really had to edit was like stuff down here. Um, this makes it look very difficult to understand like with the syntax highlighting, like all this text is just red. So I'm actually gonna open this up in VS Code because that's how I edited edited it and understood it. Because um, <clears throat> the, the HTML tags were highlighted with a, a different type of syntax highlighting. Um, da, 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 open file. Oh lordy. I think this might be the original and not mine. But anyways, you can you can see you can see the point. So the point being that um, each of these HTML tags, you know, has a new line character because you're just printing all this out into the file and then you have um, some stream editing stuff here with like variables or like I, I don't even know what all is going on here. But I understood enough to edit some of these tags so that it worked with my CSS that I have on my website. And then um, there's some stream editing here to put the different files, things it's making and putting everything in the locations. And everything is really driven by the fact that you put these LB comments in your website. So on my blog index, you can see I have my um, LB right here. And that will put in my new entries. Um, right now it puts it above my, my date entry. So I actually have to manually put them down there, but that's like one of the two small manual changes I need to make. It's so much more efficient than what I was doing before. So I'm really glad I found this little system. I thought originally that this had to be dependent on having your own VPS and that this was based on uh, Luke's like Apache server th thing he's got going on. Whereas I just have a GitHub hosted static site and I was just surprised. Nope, this is literally just editing text files. So this all works like a dream. Um, I want to understand this script more. I did change it a little bit to work with my tags and my CSS styling, but um, what I actually, where is it? 
thought I was going to put it there. Oh, I'm going to do it here. Okay. So I'm actually just going to show you what it looks like to actually write a post because why not? So I'm going to go to my, uh, I have my, my own folder for my GitHub repos. And in there I have the repo for my GitHub hosted website. So I go to my website's directory and you can see I got stuff in here. I got my blog index, HTML files. I have a directory name blog. And in there I have, you know, all the blog posts as the script creates them. Um, so let's write a blog post. I do LB and I'm in the directory where I've already initialized LB, uh, LB before. So it knows to look for the blog folder, find all the different things. It knows that this is a directory where there is an active blog right now. And it can work in multiple areas. And it'll tell you, and these are your options. What do you, what do you wanna do? And we're gonna do a new draft. So N, so LB N and new content coming soon is the title. And in the body, uh, this is where you would actually write HTML because you can see we got an HTML document here. So if I was gonna write all this stuff, I would put it into di actually different tags. This stuff is gonna be encapsulated in, um, I think a div. So inside that div, we need to actually have uh, formatting tags like paragraph or whatever. So I'm going to, uh, I think it's insert, yes. And we'll just stick with that. That's it. All right, so then, just like Mutt Wizard or Neomutt, save and close. Oh, what happened? It just saved the draft. So let's see, uh, what are our options? We well, made a new draft. I don't need to edit it because it's done. I could publish it. I could revise something that's been published. I could discard my draft. I'm not gonna do that. Or I could delete an entry that's already been published. So three are for, are for publishing or published articles and three are for editing, removing, or creating a new draft. So we're gonna publish. So LB, P for publish. It gives you a list of all the, all the drafts you currently have, and I only have one. And so I'm just gonna pick a number, which is number one, because it has an index right there. It is now published. What does that mean? That means if I go to my blog index, you know why I said that this thing is appearing above where it's supposed to be? That's where it appears, and so it will look a little bit wonky, so I'll show you what it looks like with a live preview. So my blog index, you can see it pops up right here, so I actually need to manually, manually move these. Um, I'm not sure if that's just an error with my editing of the LB script, or if this is just because I don't have the LB comment underneath this index at the moment. That would probably be something smart for me to do, is just every month create a new like date, tag, order uh, unordered list instead of having this thing pop up above here. So I'll probably do that after the video. But then I can click on this link. Uh, I even misspelled it, oops. So actually I need to edit this published post because I misspelled that. Um, this is a standalone, but if I go to the link, it'll actually take me to the rolling blog right there at the top. And it's all there, it's in the blog index, it's there. And then if I go to the uh, XML document, it'll be right there. Actually, I think it's the most recent one up here. Yep, right there. So it goes everywhere you need it to go. It's just plopped into your system and edit, you can have, you can do drafts, you can edit published items and all this stuff is driven by a single shell script with less than a hundred lines of code. Yeah, this thing is awesome. And this really is the inspiring thing that makes me want to learn shell script, honestly, is yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff with Arch and a lot of the scripts that Luke has written, but this LB script is the one that really makes me want to learn it. And it's kind of like a little bit of a paradigm shift that everything's a file in Linux and all of our code is text files, it's text. So therefore if we could you do operations on it with shell script. So I think that's really freaking cool. Anyways, that's all for now. I got to go and edit my poor misspelling of this blog post.